So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a slider to your content. Perhaps this is the most technical of all of the uh, pieces of work so it's one of the videos that you might revisit a few times in order to get it right. What I'm going to do is to again from the assets from the library area I'm going to drag out this slider and I'm going to detach from original. So let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got a slide which has some text on. We can change this text. So So I'm just putting in some dummy text to see what happens. So that's our first slide done and dusted. Our next slide here is an image slide. So at the moment I've put a placeholder in and it's note it's given some suggested dimensions here. Ahead of using the slider you'll need to have first gone through and resized your images such that they're 640 wide. Now the height of the images will vary depending on the, the dimensions of the image and so it's the most important thing is you size them so that they're 640 wide. I'm going to now replace this placeholder image with a real image that I've previously resized. So I go and explore and choose the appropriate image and place it in. Okay. The next area is an image which can include a caption. So again I'm going to replace that image with a proper uh, photo and the caption text here I can go ahead and ed edit. Now this taps and text can run a couple of lines if you need it to so it can be descriptive. You can also include links if you like. I'll just put a dummy link in. Okay, so so far so good. We have another content slide should we need it. Now it may be that we actually don't need this slide. We, we're happy to remove it. So what I can do is to position my cursor in it and then using this little navigator here I need to go up until I choose the one which says div class showcase slide. That's the, the basically the whole of the slide. So in order to remove a slide I need to ensure that I've selected the one which reads div class equals showcase slide and then I can delete that. And in this final slide I'd include a video. Now at this stage I tend to jump into the code view and I think it's probably the first time I've encouraged you to do this but I find it easier when I'm working in code to have this split view open so that I can see it. So in my example I've got a YouTube video which I've embedded into this last page. How about I swap that out with another video just to take you through the process. So I'm going to go over to my browser. I'm going to go to an appropriate video. Here's one here. I'm going to go down to the share and into embed. Now you get to elect here the video sizes that you might want to embed and ensure you choose the size which is 640 wide. So I've done that. I'll select that and copy and I'll go back into Dreamweaver and in the code editor region I'm going to replace the bit of code that's there with my own and I just feel more comfortable doing that in the code so that I know that I've got everything. So that's the only reason I dive in at that point but I can leave the view now, I can save and we can return to our browser and preview it. Hang on, I'll just do that quickly. File, preview in browser to have a look at what we've got. So we have our uh, first slide. This is the text we included onto it. We can use the page turners here to see the image. In this we have an image with a caption and you can see there's a link and then it's finished with a video. And I'll just note because there this video is 
you know a wide format video it doesn't fill the whole of the vertical space so it's just left with a black area at the bottom and that's by design okay so we've actually managed to create a slideshow and I, I'll remind you that you can hit this view as slideshow option here to see it as a single linear page which is also I think very useful for students so let's return to Dreamweaver and, and explore this a little more it may be that the only type of uh, image that you want are these ones which have captions so if you want to reuse one of these slide designs this is a slide design that's got text here's a slide design that's image only this is a slide design that's got image and caption you can actually copy each slide as many times as you want to reuse it and then replace the contents with with whatever is appropriate so if I want another slide that includes a caption I'm going to put my cursor on that slide I'm going to go so that I've selected again using this little set of selectors here the one which says div class equals showcase slide I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in fact I paste it twice so here's the original here is the new copied slide I'm going to replace this now with another image replace the text with uh, caption text with appropriate caption text save and revisit my browser and hit refresh okay so let's have a look we have our first two images as as usual our third image now is is there and it has the caption that we included so the takeaway from that is to I guess cherry pick the various slide elements for the ones that you want so for instance if you need another text element later on you can copy that and then just reuse those elements as often as you need